Now, for years, this part of Texas has been known as one of the best spots in the world for viewing exotic birds. We've all heard about the whooping cranes that winter here. But one bird that's proved elusive to our cameras out in the field is the bald eagle. And tonight our Michael Gibson checks into the rumor that there are now a number of those raptors calling the coastal bend home. We're out here in the Lake Corpus Christi area and we decided to bring our drone because we want this thing to be able to spot what we've been looking for for years. And that's whether or not there are actually bald eagles out here. We'd heard the rumors of eagles living around this area, but could never actually spot one, even though a nest was supposedly in one of the trees on the north side of the lake. Finally, we brought our three news drone out here we've had for a number of years. Our pilot and photographer, Preston West, is certified by the FAA to fly this eye in the sky. Now, once in the air, it wasn't too long before we found what we were looking for sitting on a nest in one of the trees, a bald eagle. There were no eaglets, and it didn't appear there were any eggs. We cautiously flew at some distance from the bird and was able to zoom in to give you a great view. As you can see, the bald eagle really didn't seem to care about our drone in the least. After a few minutes, it was time to move on up the road. Here at the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge, there's all kinds of folks coming here year round to see all of the wildlife this place has to offer. But lately, there's been a couple of visitors that have really, well, shaken things up some. Right over there. It certainly wasn't this armadillo which had people talking. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Or even this huge alligator, which could certainly have folks running for cover. Someone sees them every year. Laura Bono is with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. She took us around this refuge and we'd heard there were sightings of eagles here north of Rockport. Right now, I'm watching one of the adults um, with the baby on the nest. There's just one eaglet in there. It's really cool, though. The government doesn't allow drones to fly at places like this refuge, so we were grounded on flying here. Still, Bono got us a perfect spot to see a pair of nesting bald eagles. I worked and lived in Ohio and Minnesota, and bald eagles are pretty pretty standard there or Alaska you know they're everywhere but around here there's there aren't that many and so it's super exciting and one of my favorite things has been oh sorry but the adult just took off from the nest and what a majestic sight it was to see the symbol of our nation flying overhead we were soon joined by tourists who wanted to get an up-close look at the birds through this spotting scope. We've always just felt real privileged whenever we get to see what we came to see and we're getting such a good look at it, so we're, we're very happy. 90-year-old Ida Bell Farr also came down from the Hill Country to visit. Ida Bell was actually born seven years before President Franklin Roosevelt established this National Wildlife Refuge, one that is famous from being the home of the endangered whooping cranes. But the eagles are now sharing the spotlight with those whoopers. We're native Texans. We're from central Texas in the hill country, and we do have bald eagles up there, but they're not common. Down between Bayside and Refurio sits the Fennessee Ranch, a place where it's common to see turkey and other wildlife. I see one adult and I see a chick. Generally at this time of year, both adults might take off and fish, but one adult stays pretty close to the nest. Sally Crowfoot is the manager of the fantasy. She's been keeping an eye on these eagles for over 10 years. We had this nest for 12 years. Two years we didn't fledge chicks. One was a windstorm and the other one, something ate them. Otherwise, we've always fledged two chicks. Trey Barron, a wildlife diversity biologist with the Texas Parks and Wildlife, says the eagles here are part of the 20 to 25 nesting eagles located from Corpus Christi all the way up to Victoria. Those nesting eagles represent about 10% of the total number of eagles located throughout the state. They're just magical creatures that you don't really get to see um, except in like zoos or um, like in photos. So to see them in real life in the wild is pretty once in a lifetime. And we've been able to show off three of the nests in our area to help let everyone know that the bald eagle is not only an American icon, but a resident of the Coastal Bend. Michael Gibson, 3 News.